Grégoire, there's a famous banana at auction. Everyone speak about that. So you seem enthusiastic about it. Why? I'll not be enthusiastic about this one. I think this is uh, what Catalan has been doing his entire career, which is to surprise us, to try to go against the flow, to create a moment that that never been never existed before. So I think the point of for us to be lucky enough to offer it is to rebound on what you know Catalan did when he showed it for the first time in Miami at the art fair at um, mm -hmm. on Emmanuel's booth and um, and recreate that bit of a magic of a very Duchampien Dadaist move of a creating something out of you know not much. So what is sold? There's a certificate how does it work? Exactly there's a certificate there's also very clear indications on how how to hang it, how to put it on the floor, on the wall, sorry, and try to, you know, create exactly what, what Catalan wants to do. There's also a bit of a joke in the way that, you know, there's very precise indications to basically mm -hmm. glue a banana <laughs> with some tape on the wall. But it's, uh, I think it's very much what, you know, Catalan has been, you know, showing us for the last 25 years, which is his capacity to surprise and to challenge what the work of art can be. What is it to be a collector? What is it to be an artist? What is it to be... A work of art. And, I think and what is it to be an auction house, which means how to, how can you give an estimate for such a work? I think you look at what has been already achieved on the, on the Catalan market. I mean, we know that him sold for close to $17 million already, like nearly 10 years ago. And then we have been multiple uh, you know, transactions for Maurizio between, you know, one and, and 10 million. So I think it's more, uh, can we really price a, uh, a work like this? Not really. I think it's more an indication of what we believe uh, the price can be. But again, I think there's there's very big expectations on what the, this one can make. And I think it's uh, above everything. It's just a, a moment of, uh, there's not a lot of joy right now. So I think there's something also which is uh, quite good to actually um, also, I don't know, bring something new and different. And do we know, or do we know, or do you say who is the seller? No, we're not. Um, oh, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, what about Jeff Koons? You have a Jeff Koons. Oh, we have a great Jeff Koons. We have the woman in a tub, um, which is one of the most you know, famous uh, sculpture from uh, from Jeff, from the Banality series, coming from the super famous Barbie Muller collection. So this is really everything Koons is about. Um, it's surprising, it's shocking, it's funny. It's challenging. Um, again, after talking about the Catalan, something completely different, and uh, and it's a bit of a little revolution for me. This guy. So uh, this piece has not been on the market since two thousand and one. So it's nearly more. It's more than twenty years now that we have not seen you know mm -hmm. one of those cultures at auction. And um, yeah, I cannot be more excited about that. And these are two landmark of the market, right? So can we say? Can we say that the market is going down, the uh, prices? We'll see after the auction. Uh, I don't think it's going down. If you look at the you know, auctions we had in Paris or <clears throat> even in New York in September, I think uh, when you bring what the market is looking for, I think the, you know, the season can be actually great from Magritte to Monet. To, there's a lot of wonderful works coming up and uh, we'll see. But I'm, I'm actually you know, quite excited and, and quite confident about, you know, the state of the market. And you, you, you find guarantees? We have guarantees, we have guarantors, there's a lot of actions, it's going, you know, in and out. And I think there's, um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually quite positive about what's going on right now. Merci. Pleasure.